I'm Leroy Garcia, and this is Blue Rain Gallery Podcast. Today in the studio we have with us Larry Blissett. And uh, we've, we've had an off and on relationship with Larry for 30 years. I met Larry uh, the first time uh, Tammy did India Market in 1993. And in fact, um, he helped us set up the booth and carry tables in and, and uh, get us going. Have a few questions for you today. You ready? Yep. Sure. <laughs> okay. So let's let's um, figure out where are you from. I'm from Santa Fe now, but uh, I was born in uh, Pampa, Texas. In Texas. Yeah. Oh, right on. And uh, were, were you raised there in Texas, or did you? Uh, for the first three years of my life, I was raised in White Deer, Texas. And where's that near? Amarillo. Amarillo. Yeah. Okay. Right on. So a lot of farming country and stuff yeah. out there. Yeah. Where'd you move from there? Uh, we moved out to California. Mm-hmm. Southern, northern? <clears throat> Southern California. And we lived in the projects on uh, Western Avenue just before San Pedro. Charles Bukowski is buried on the other side of that. Oh, really? <laughs> in Green Hills Mortuary. Um, you know, when I first met you, um, you were a concrete worker or you were in construction? I was a contractor, yeah. Yeah, for how many years? 20, 25 years. Well, that's a long time. How's your back? Not good. <laughs> well, it, you know, a few years ago, I started seeing stickers pop up and and graffiti all over this town. <laughs> and uh, uh, turns out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little old to be Jean-Michel Basquiat. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's actually uh, who I compared you to, right? The, the Chicano <laughs> version. Yeah. When did you start getting into art? About 2009, I, I got into it. I was in California working on my daughter's house, and uh, I didn't have anything to do after work, so I went down to Blix and bought some paint, some canvas and brushes, and started painting. Did you uh, ever start drawing before you started painting? Oh, when I was a kid, yeah. When you were a kid? So yeah. you, were you a doodler, or did, were you trying to do uh, realistic sketches? What were you doing? I was trying to do realistic stuff you know just to prove to myself that i could do it and how would you define your art how would how would you characterize it it goes anywhere from abstract to like folk art to day of the dead stuff or outsider art i've always liked it right from the start especially your nudes Um, (laughs) but uh, i like the way you do it it's not um i guess it's not polished like some of our refined more refined artists yeah it's really raw and i i think that's what uh I'm drawn to and I think a lot of other people are, are drawn to it as well. Um, you're also fairly prolific from what I can tell, right? <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. I don't know if you know the name of the show in January. Oh, what is it? I'm hoping to call it uh, Can You Dig My Vibrations? And I got the, the name for it from a title of a Doug Somm song. And it also relates to Mark Chagall, who uh, has a, a quotation about color being all important, it causes vibration, and, you know, the quote is right here. <laughs> oh, well, give us a quote. Let's read it. He says, Color is all. When color is right, form is right. Color is everything. Color is vibration, like music. Everything is vibration. To me, why it's interesting is when I think about the early uh, Native Americans, Mm -hmm. and you see the line work on the Anasazi jars. Yep. And um, it was described to me, and I don't know if uh, Billy Shank described this to me or somebody else, but um, those patterns are patterns of vibration. It's like a yeah, yeah. And uh, so that that's interesting that this uh, artist has picked that up as well. Give us an idea of some of the scenes that you're creating uh, based on the Chagall series uh, for your show. I I am I don't compare myself to Chagall, but I I do like the quote. He did some kind of wild paintings you know with people floating around and all that good stuff I I do like some of his paintings uh, some of his work 
but you can't like everything by everybody right you, you know even one particular artist if you fell in love with that particular artist you still don't like everything it's just like music and and you have to you might have influence from them but you still got to create your own yeah your own viewpoint of that perspective i find that the hardest uh, thing about uh, mm -hmm. being an artist is talking about your work yeah um i also uh, it's kind of personal <laughs> it is <laughs> It, it's really hard to talk about. I, I remember um, telling my ex, um, hey, we, you need to just go out there and meet, talk to people. Like, it was so easy. Like, for me, that's what I do all day. Yeah. But for an artist that's shelled up in, a, in their home, uh, man, that's hard to do, huh? It's very hard. Very hard to I'm do. I'm having a difficult time right now. I also remember the first time I introduced my art, uh, the thought of rejection. You know, boy, you really expose yourself out there. Like it's like you're naked. You lay it out there. Yeah. And and if they like it, that's great. But if they don't like it, you can't get offended. You just like, well, maybe it was a crappy piece. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was. You know, maybe yeah. it was bad. But maybe it's good too. The strangest thing about it, is some of the stuff that I think will never sell, sells. Oh and, yeah. And well, some of the stuff that I think is really cool. I still have it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that that's how it always works. Um, yeah. Our 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 tastes differ. Yeah. They're, or they're different from person to person, right. how we view things or how we perceive things. We want to uh, remind everybody that uh, Larry's having an opening reception on January 29th. I encourage everybody to come five to six. Five uh, to seven. Five to seven. Ooh, see, man, I don't even know what I'm writing. Five to seven. <laughs> And then uh, Larry has what we call a group howl. What in the heck is this about? <laughs> well, you were here for it last year, uh -huh. and uh, I just thought it would be a cool thing to do. So a bunch of coyotes in the room? Too. Yeah. So how does your howl sound? Sounds pretty damn good. You want, <laughs> you you want a sample? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Andale. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Well, I'd like to thank everybody for attending this podcast. <laughs> it ended well. I hope uh, it didn't embarrass you too much. It embarrassed the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we want to encourage everybody to subscribe to our podcast. You can find it on BlueRainGallery.com under the blog section. Or you can find it on Spotify or YouTube or any other uh, platforms that we have. Um, thank you for coming, Larry. And we're looking forward to great success. Thank you. Shit, you broke my eardrum, bro, with the house. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you asked for it. Thank you.